What's going on guys? It's your boy Raven and today we are talking about I probably can't see it on the camera. This Um and here are five facts that you will find interesting. We'll start with number five. The options don't have to be overwhelming. Here's real quick before I begin. Sexual violence impacts people of all genders, cultures, races, religions, sexual orientations, as well as people with disabilities. If you experience sexual violence, you can get through this, and there are people who want to help. Contact the local rape crisis center and also contact the um, it's crisis center but you can also connect with on campus advocacy or campus counseling services and uh, for my state it's South Carolina but you can call the national one to be like a help near you So, local rape crisis centers offer free confidential support and counseling regardless of when the violence occurs. On campus, counseling or advocacy services can help navigate academic or housing accommodations to campus and community resources. And the Title IX process. If you want an investigation, you can report to police. Students can also report to Title IX for campus police. Which means, if you're on campus, like if you're on college campus, or you go to school and you see somebody doing, you need to report it. I mean, there are people, there are agencies. Every state has a domestic violence and sexual assault. Uh, organization to help you. Right? Number four. Alcohol is the number one drug produced in sexual assault. Sexual assault is never the victim's fault, regardless of if they were drinking may actually be shocking. Some people use alcohol or drugs as an opportunity to take advantage of a person when their defenses are low. No one has the right, no one, I repeat, nobody has the right to do anything sexual to you without you being fully aware of what is happening and you are given the okay. So, if you don't say okay, and somebody is um, trying to do something sexual, you need to try your best and get away from them. Especially if you want to uh, avoid those uh, diseases that they may have. Before we get to our top number three. Some injuries cannot be seen, and uh, you may not know if you have an injury, but it is always good to uh, check with somebody like a doctor or so before you can collect evidence and also provide free process and treat injury related to sexual assault, committing diseases, and offer Medicine to prevent pregnancy. Yep. Girls, women, you are also included in this. Some people find counseling help. You don't know what you don't know what to do. Well, do now. Number two. 
safety and trust are common concerns for victims and survivors. Advocates and counselors Advocates and counselors can help even when the survivor doesn't want to press Survivors might want to help to create a safety plan or to apply for a restraining order if in school arrangements can be made to stay safe on campus. Many school employees must report sexual violence to the school. For disclose and info, ask how it may get shared. And number one, it could be confusing time after an assault, especially if you don't ask for help, but right? it can still be confusing. It may feel overwhelming right now, but there will be a time when it, this will not consume your thoughts. Uh, confide, which means um, hang out with trusted and safe people to help lighten the load. What evidence guard get out the hospital? It's best not to bathe, brush teeth, comb hair, change clothes, eat or drink so evidence can be preserved. They they wanna collect your evidence. Um it's always it's always good to collect that evidence, especially when something tragic like that happens. Okay, so those are the top five right here and now we will get to last part yes how you can help if someone you know has experienced sexual violence the best thing you can do is listen believe and support them non-judgmental which means don't judge them over something that you didn't see. Ask how you can help and don't ask a lot of questions. And allow them to make their own decisions. Now you could probably help them and probably reference them to like a line. But uh, look out. For referral or local references, contact your local um, Domestic Violence Office, uh, during office hours, spell it at, on, at 803-256, this number, if you live in South Carolina. For 24-hour assistance, contact the Rape and Incest National Network. This is the one you call for nationally, if you're not sure. Uh, which one to call? 1-800-656-4673 The Rape and Incest National Network. You can call them. I'll probably give you a couple of references. 1-800-656-4673 um, To save time and all, I'm gonna uh, tell y'all that uh, I'm glad y'all subscribed. And uh, yeah, thank you for subscribing. And uh, also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, smash that like button. See you next time. Bye.